welcome to another video tutorial with Berkeley of Sweden. Today I'm going to talk about grass. Grass grows about everywhere, except desert possibly. You will need grass in some sort. Uh, there are different ways to make grass. Tussocks can be made with uh, by cutting uh, pieces of, uh, uh, of a brush with a nature brush slightly colored in green. I have a tutorial on this and you fix it with glue. Uh, that's a way to make tussocks. It works fine and it's uh, really low cost if you find uh, this big pack of brushes. But when it comes to grass fields, uh, the method to do this, this, it's uh, fur, oil, color with uh, balsam thinner you rub that color in with a tooth toothbrush i have been trying this method uh, to some extent and uh, i've seen very nice results doing it but unfortunately i have not succeeded so far if i do there will be a tutorial coming up on this one too because it's a classic method with a with a very good and nice looking result some years ago a real game changer came along in the market a static grass applicator a step the static grass applicator looks like this it's rather big you know I would rather have had the form factor of this in the grass applicator but hey you can't ask for everything at once so this tutorial will talk a bit about uh, the static grass why is that isn't it super simple to apply grass with a static grass applicator yes and no there are tons of different static grass available from not only one manufacturer but several manufacturers what to choose wild grass extra large beige Great! Dark green. Great! But what to choose? This tutorial will give you some recipes to get started. I don't expect it to be the ultimate solution for your creation, but at least it could be a starting point. The grass applicator I bought came with three sieves. One rough coarse sieve, which is this one in the middle. And it's usable for long and extra long grass. I have a medium and also a fine sieve. I think this was very useful because the long grass won't get through the finer sieve. And the very short grass like one, two, two and a half, three millimeter, it just pours through the more coarse sieves. And this static grass, it ends up everywhere. So what you need to do is to use a vacuum cleaner. However, the static grass is not cheap, so you need to take care of what you vacuum up. Then I found some German guy made a tutorial on this and he just used a sock. I stole one of my daughter's short socks, which I found very useful. She isn't home, so she doesn't know. And you just put it over your uh, like this. So, let's get started. Select the right sieve for the grass you're using. Open the container and fill with grass. Then close the container again. And put glue on the area where you want to have the grass. I use a 2.5 millimeter long grass in this example. When the glue has dried, it's time to vacuum the excessive grass. A brush is of good use when you're vacuuming. When you're done, you just simply empty the sock into the bag. And all the grass is ready for another go. A good rule of thumb is to start with the shorter grass and go for taller grass later on. 
It's necessary to apply several layers of different colored grass in order to get a really realistic look. And this is the final result with the bushes in place, so this will be our first recipe. Our next example is gravel or sand covered ground, dry, with some grass. The third recipe represents a forest hill. I'm actually using the same recipe for the static grass as in the previous recipe, but I use another surface covering which is turf and not buff. This third recipe was composed for a forest uh, pathway. It's a typical dry and hot environment in front of the mountainside just next to the rail. Our fifth recipe is a moved wild grass lawn in front of the chosk by the beach. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please help me by giving it a thumbs up. Until next time, see ya.